So let's take you through the starting grid for Minimax. Heat three, groups A and C. Here is your starting grid. On pole position, it will be Nikita Lubimov and Denny Babacek on row one. Felipe Reyes and Maxim Becker, row two. Jakub Kubera and Bran van der Weyken on row three. Row four, Rasmus Koskinen and Alex Goodson with Victor Reutz and Finn Albert Jorgensen completing the top ten. Natan Rybczynski, Albi Lapa, T. Erin Undologan and Noel Zak running out row seven. Blair Smith and Luan Seidel. Row eight, Hasnain Khan and João Maria Pereira. Row nine, row ten, completing the top 20. It's Leo Livings and Eric Bransborg. Christian Sayerson, Mason Yering, AJ Berggraf, Asmi Heiser, James van der Poel, and Austria's Mia Zanke rounds out the grid. Albi Lappa hasn't uh, broken the timing beam on the formation lap, so I'm just trying to see whether there is a cart waiting to be released once the... Uh, Once the lights go out, as the drivers head on to their official formation lap. Ahead of seven minutes plus one lap of racing. So the drivers heading down the Europa Line in towards turn seven in the front row, starting to close the field up a little bit. And so far today... first race it was uh, it was Albert Friend Maxim Becker won on the road but was found to be underweight post race so was thereby disqualified from the race itself so Thomas Verheyen picked up the victory so two wins from two Albert Friend in the first heat Thomas Verheyen in heat two now we go to heat three Drivers lining up, coming out of the final corner. The revs rise, the anticipation builds, and it's a full start straight away. Race director Thomas Liner not happy with that one, and will send them on another formation lap. So the red lights reset on the starting gantry, seven minutes on the timer, plus an additional lap. This is the halfway stage of the six mini max heats, making up the first stage of this year's Rotax Max Challenge Grand Festival. Up for grabs, a ticket for one lucky individual that is yet to qualify. Big thank you to Nikita's dad, Alexander, saying to me that, uh, well, Nikita actually won the ticket in Nordic, so my apologies there. I thought it was Estonia, but also won the championship there. But the drivers make their way out of the final corner. Here we go, second time of asking. Revs rise, noise increases, lights are out, and we are underway in racing. Good start, start by the front row as they make their way into turns one and two. Felipe is up the inside of, of uh, Denny Babacek, who's now dropped to fourth. As again, we seem to have a... Oh, no, big incident coming out of turn four. One cart over the other and has caught out one in the crossfire. A parallel chassis, I believe, that just had someone going over the top of them. It looks like they've all managed to rejoin. Very, very scary incident just then. Jakub Kubera again has had a great start at the front end and is now up to second position from fifth on the grid. 
and is ahead of Philippe Perez, who now looks to go up the inside. And it was nip and tuck between the pair. Philippe Perez had to back out of the manoeuvre. And Jakob Cabrera saying, come on, man, work with me. Uh, Philippe Perez has other ideas. Up the inside of the Czech Republic driver he goes. And Denny Babacek now gets the side draw from the 199 and might get third position by the time they hit the inside or the exit of turn two. Not the case on this point. Maxim Becker just behind. Along with them, that is uh, just behind. That is the 176 of Victor Reutz, who's had a great start from ninth on the grid. Now up into a genuine fifth position. The field makes its way down the Yerupalan once again into turn seven. Like it might have been Natan Rybzinski that might have been involved in that incident coming out of turn number three. But Nikita Lubimov, the Estonian, trying to pull away from Philippe Perez in second. Third, Denny Babacek. Fourth, it's Maxime Becker. Fifth, Jakub Kubera. As they come round the final corner to complete lap number two. And Lubimov has a six-tenth of a second advantage. Reyes, Babicek, Becker, Kubera, Reutz, Goodson. Then we've also got the 102 of uh, Thierryn Und... Uh, Und trying to get the surname right. Undogan from Turkey. And then we've got Hasnain Khan and Bran van der Weyken running at the top ten. Nice move there by Denny Babacek up the inside of Felipe Perez, who gets the switch back coming out of turn six, moves back into second. Presses with the steering, back end steps out to the left hand side on the number 107 from the Netherlands. And again, we do have some uh, drivers watching on. Boris Verhug again uh, being there or thereabouts. Uh, Maxime Becker looking up the inside briefly on Denny Babacek going through into turn nine. As the grandstand really starting to uh, get filled up a little bit more as the racing carries on. And a little bit of a uh, cheering on the sidelines that is Alexander Van Muen uh, with the still eye rise uh, below the Alex on the back of his race helmet but Nikita Lubimov still has about a half a second lead as Albie Friend uh, no race helmet on quite yet for the young man who won the opening heat earlier on today but we're halfway through this race and Nikita Lubimov Still leads, battle for second, really intensifying. Thanks to the uh, pressure that Denny Babacek is putting onto Felipe Reyes. So they make their way through turn number nine. So all 25 drivers that started this race are still running. Very uncustomary to see Natan Rybzinski right down at the bottom end of the field. As here goes Denny Babacek up the inside of Felipe Perez for P2 through the final corner. And there is the 157 of C4 Racing's Maxim Becker in the slipstream. Into turn two, Felipe Perez looking for the move up the inside. Babacek holds his line yep, and stays in second for the minute. But Maxim Becker again just getting closer and closer, millimetre by millimetre, to try and look for the move up the inside on Felipe Perez. And there he, do there he goes. Through at turn number six, Jakub Kubera is battling with them. Becker's to the outside of turn seven. Felipe Reyes, oh, can't hang on to third place. He was trying to get through on the inside, but Maxim Becker had the momentum carry round the outside and got, well, stayed ahead. He looks over his right shoulder. Two minutes and ten seconds, plus an additional lap. We are now about to complete lap five. Nikita Lubimov and Denny Babacek have pulled clear. Now, can Babacek start to close in on the youngster from Estonia at the front end of the field? Gap now, four tenths and closing. Maxim Becker still holding on to third, but not for much longer because Felipe Perez is through. Jakub Kubera trying to be quite strategic on how to approach this three-cart battle and the situation that is surrounding them at the moment. And up the inside, there he goes at turn six. That's fourth place for the Czech Republic driver through on Becker. Sticks his nose up the inside as the 157 heading into turn seven. But that was never going to happen there. Uh, Asmi Heiser, who had a great run in the first heat earlier on today 
unfortunately has retired on lap number three is Becker trying to put the wind up the sails of the Czech Republic's Jakub Kubera in the 199 running on the Sodi car chassis but now this gap is getting closer and closer still Babicek is on the hunt smells a little bit of blood in the water does the uh, 115 from the Czech Republic as they go on to another lap lap seven And still, Babicek trying to close that gap was 0.17 of a second quicker than Babic uh, than the than uh, oh Maxim Becker got very very close indeed. Uh, nearly ended up in the side pod of Jakub Kubera going into turn six. But Babicek last time was 1.7 tenths of a second quicker than Lubimov. So the gap between them when they crossed the line to start lap seven was two and a half tenths to the decimal point they have cleared off into the distance so the battle for the race win is very much up for grabs two different winners so far Albert Friend and Thomas Verheyen who's going to become heat winner who's going to become the third race winner in our third successive heat last lap board is out 1.36 kilometers remain and Denny Babacek is two tenths away from Nikita Lubimov and is gunning for that race lead, which will eventually, in just around about a kilometer's time, will end up being the victory in heat number three for Minimax Groups A versus C. Babicek trying to sweep to the outside to get the crisscross, and Lubimov holds the line. Now the slipstream down the Yudapalan for what is the final lap into turn seven. Who's going to get the better momentum carry? Looks to be Babicek, but Lubimov has held on to the race lead from lights out. Will it be all the way to the checkered flag? We've got three more corners to decide that. Babacek sweeps to the outside at turn 10 to get the momentum carry through into 11. He looks up the inside, but was not close enough to get through. And Minimax, heat three, A versus C. It goes the way of Estonia's Nikita Lubimov in the 119, who pips Denny Babacek by nearly a tenth and a half after eight laps of racing Felipe Perez takes third Alex Goodson fourth Maxim Becker drops to fifth at the checkered T. Ellen uh, Unlodogan from Turkey takes six ahead of Jakub Kubera Bran van der Weyken Victor Oitz and running at the top ten Finn Albert Jorgensen along with that uh, Blair Smith Hasnain Khan Joao Maria Pereira James van der Poel, who started from 20, or what ended up being 24th, all the way, got up 10 positions and finished 14th. Eric Brandsborg, Luan Seidel, Christian Sayerson, Noel Zach, Mason Yering, Leo Livings, Albi Lapper did actually, uh, might have had a trans transponder issue possibly, but ended up 21st. AJ Bergraf, Natan Rybzinski, and Mia Zanki round out the 24 that finished all eight laps of racing. Unfortunately, Rasmus Koskinen, we lost on lap six, and Asmi Heiser on lap number three. So with the afternoon action of the Grand Festival for the Minimax contingent got underway. When the lights went out, Lubimov led the field. Babicek trying to slot in into second position. On the rundown to turn number two with Felipe Reyes, Jakub Kubera on his immediate right-hand side, Maxim Becker right on the rear bumper. But then this moment, one of the scariest moments I've seen for a very, very long time, two coming together one over the top of the other the 169 went airborne and it was the 189 that was underneath it was Rasmus Koskinen over the top of Natan Rybzinski the main thing was is that both drivers managed to get back up and running Rybzinski finishing 23rd Koskinen out with two laps to go 
Well, Lee Perez would find a bit of a pressure cooker from behind, and that would be in the form of Denny Babacek, who would fire it up the inside of the 12th and final corner to take second position, and then would go on to try and chase down the young Estonian Nikita Lubimov for the race win. Along with that, Maxim Becker and Jakob Kubera showcased their skills. This was a nice little move by Becker up the inside of Felipe Perez to take P3 at turn six, heading onto the Europalan. And then Felipe Perez returned the favor back through turn two and retook third place. And then he gave an opportunity for Jakob Kubera to get through on the 157, heading through the next triple left-hander complex. And Becker, well, nearly came to strife by going sideways into the side of Kubera, but even onto the last lap, Denny Babacek was trying everything in the playbook, but it wasn't enough to deny Nikita Lubimov from Estonia for picking up the heat win in heat number three for Minimax.